Hey everyone, what's going on? Stylist Trisha Cromwell here. Happy Sunday. I think it's Sunday. Uh, if you are non-essential and at a stay-at-home order like me, then you probably don't know what day or what time it is. And you probably have not put on makeup or brushed your hair in a week. Lucky for you all, today's the day I did that. Um, and I actually got dressed. And the reason I got dressed is because um, my girl is the owner of Style Rush Fashion's online store. And she actually sent out an email that they were having a sale and posted some items I needed. And I went on 50% off jewelry, you guys. I think it's over today. StyleRushFashions.com. But I got me these earrings and I got this top. It came in yesterday. So I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll get dressed today. <laughs> Won't that be a novel idea? So anyhow, I'm dressed. If you're not dressed, it doesn't matter. I can't see you. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you guys about home decor, right? Because I have actually been helping a lot of clients lately. Um, as you know, I'm offering the virtual styling for yourself, your wardrobe, your closet, your house. Um, $50 special during this COVID craziness um, for a two-hour session where we'll usually either um, come up with a game plan to deal with your space or... You'll actually get on camera and kind of show me some things and we'll edit and say, keep this, don't keep that, move that over there, put those in there. Um, and so last week, I was actually working with three or four, I think it was actually four people that were updating their living room and they were looking for these three items or a combination of these three items that I feel like are crucial in updating your home these days. Mary says, I changed my morning pajamas to my evening pajamas. Wait, is it evening pajama time yet? I don't, I legit don't even know what time it is. I just got off a styling session with someone that I think started at two. I really have no idea what time it is, but I'm sure your evening pajamas are fabulous. It's 3.43. I don't know, 3.23? Thanks, says my producer. <laughs> I couldn't even say it with the straight face. Um, anyways. So these three items that are, and he is now my background dancer apparently, uh, these three items are like must have, update these and you're good to go. What's happening now, um, if you all are non-essential employees and you're working from home or you're on quarantine or stay at home order, right, we're all in our houses and maybe starting to get a little stir crazy at this point, but we're organizing, we're cleaning things out, we're wanting to redecorate. Because of course we're sitting in our same environment, same house all day, we're kind of looking at, you know, what can we do? And online shopping hasn't closed, I can attest to that. So, um, you know, we're kind of looking to update, but then simultaneously, it's also spring cleaning time, right? So this is the time, even if life were normal, this would still be spring cleaning, get in the cupboards, get in the cabinets, let's update some of the decor and kind of um, make everything a little bit lighter, more airy for spring and summer. So if you're feeling this decor bug or this organization bug, know that you're not alone. It's completely normal. We're kind of getting it from both sides. So let's tackle it. Tiffany says, I need every room done. I'm, I got you. I'm there. We're starting with your dressing room because it is an amazing space. Um, so anyway, Julian's coming to join me. Obviously, you know, I'll be, I'll be joined by my entire executive team. Hi. Isn't this the cutest little minion? Yup. Oh no, don't show it. Okay, all right, okay. Very, uh, okay. Say okay. hi everyone, bye everyone. Bye. Say okay, okay, mom. Okay, okay, mom. <laughs> when I kiss him too much, he says that. It kills me. I wanted to play a game yesterday with him and I asked him to play, he said no. And I was like, really? And he said, okay, okay, mom. I was like, what are you, nine year old? You little stinky face. <laughs> you little stinky face, cutie. Okay. Say bye. Say peace out. I'm going to watch TV, hopefully. Peace out. Peace out. Nen just joined. Say hi, Nen. Hi, Nen. He's probably so confused why he can't see you. All right. Love you long time. Bye. I just had a virtual uh, session with someone right before this, and he went and put on my blush <laughs> while I was talking. And he came back, and it was actually in the right place. I was very impressed. And then I'm just mad he wiped it off before I could take a picture. Yeah, go get your fruit snacks. No. Shocker. Anyhow, okay, I put in the title of this video to obviously grab you all's attention the top three items that you need to update your living room. So now I will tell you what they are. Curtains, rug, and pillows. So I feel like these are 
the three that kind of go together, maybe you can get away with the two, but most people have the three that are really crucial in defining a space, making it more cozy or homey, bringing everything together, a way that you're adding in your pops of colors or your patterns. Um, and like I said, I worked with three or four people last week that were all um, getting all three of those and they were kind of looking for curtains to match a rug and so I thought, you know, let me come on and kind of give some pointers because if these people have reached out, I'm sure that there are other people with these same questions. So I feel like it's important when you're, you're searching for curtains to think about what type do you want. Obviously, you have to think about the length. Um, you want to be able to hang them. Now my son is driving his little motorized bike. So I don't know if you hear some crazy noise. That's what that is. Yeah, keep going, babes. Keep driving right on over to the other room that'd be great um so when you're thinking about curtains obviously think about size if you want them to hang to the floor or not if you've got a window behind a couch maybe you need shorter ones because why fuss to have them behind a couch or whatever and then you also need to think about how much natural light do you want to come in how much privacy do you need because of course you can go from sheer panels all the way to room darkening and I think a lot of people especially shopping online they'll just find a color or a pattern that they like and then not realize it's a room darkening and they have really missed the natural light in their living room and now they feel like it's always nighttime so it's important to think you know do you want these curtains for privacy do you want these curtains for light do you want it to be like there is no curtain there you want it to look pretty but you don't want to um, compromise any of the natural light coming in so really think about not aesthetically, but functionally, what do you want this for before you then go ahead and look for a design? Something I also like, and a Trisha's tip, I love to, to double up on different types of curtains. So just because curtains are sold in panels, right? Typically they're sold two panels at a time. That does not mean that your window can only have two panels. It doesn't even mean it has to have two panels, right? I've done um, a very modern clean look with smaller windows and just done actually one panel. And then you just swoop it over to the side with a curtain tie when you want it to be open. So you can have one panel, you can have four panels. I love a double rod. Um, if you can find that to put over your windows, that's great because what it offers you is kind of a chance for privacy, for light blocking, but then also for design. Like if you think about a hotel, right? Usually hotels have huge windows and they have huge curtains. They've got room darkening curtains and then on the track behind or in front they have the shears. So I love being able to replicate this by using a double rod or even using, you know, the regular curtain rod outside the window and a tension rod inside which is a little tip if your windows are small enough. Um, and then doing a combination of shears and, you know, room darkening or light blocking or something that's a little bit more substantial. That way you kind of, you can peel back or close to get the desired effect. So just because they come in pairs doesn't mean they have to go in pairs. Doesn't mean they can't be split up. Then also, when it comes to a rug. Oh, you play soccer with the basketball? You go, boy. Good job. It's a great soccer basketball player. Um, so when it comes to a rug, you want to think about obviously what size do you need and what shape. You can get square, rectangle, circle, and this is an area rug. And what I love about area rugs is that they help to define a specific space, especially if you have a really big room and you're trying to break up the area it helps to designate this is the seating area or you know this is the reading nook this is the desk workspace however you kind of however things flow and however you need to break them up and what you want to think about with the size is do you want the rug to be big enough to fill up this whole room right this makeshift room or area that you're creating do you want all of your furniture to fit on the rug so basically this area rug ends up looking sometimes like almost wall-to-wall -wall carpet or do you want it to be a true area rug where it's just centered in the middle of the room there's space to walk around it's not under all of your furniture maybe just a coffee table or or a set of chairs or something so that's what to consider when it comes down to size and shape as well as kind of what effect do you want and then when it comes to pillows 
pillows are coarse. Like a, a lot of us have those throw pillows or the pillow covers, which is great, that, you know, we kind of store and take out for winter, fall, or take out for summer, spring. Um, what I love about pillows is that you can do so many fun things with them, and they're small to store. They're on the inexpensive scale versus everything else, um, you know, in your living room and not big decor pieces. With your pillows, just promise me that you will switch it up, right? And put different shapes, different sizes, different patterns or textures or colors. Again, just because something comes in a pair, it doesn't mean it has to stay that way. You know, you can have a re rectangle oblong pillow with a saying on it. I don't know. Stay home. It's appropriate for right now. And then you can have kind of a bigger pillow behind it that's a solid color. And then you can have another striped pillow with some of those colors in it. So really have fun with your pillows and mix and match. And then when it comes down to all three and the way to tie them in is pattern mixing. Love, love, love pattern mixing, right? Because you don't want to have a solid rug, solid curtains, and then solid pillows. That's a little bit lame unless you have some really crazy furniture or a crazy upholstered pattern couch different situation but typically you're bringing in your color you're bringing in your pattern you're changing seasonally with your area rugs with your curtains and with your pillows so please ladies and gentlemen do some pattern mixing just because you have one thing that has a pattern doesn't mean you can't toss in a striped pillow it doesn't mean you can't add a floral and a striped pillow if you have kind of a graphic design on your rug. The key is to repeat colors. So repeat at least two or three colors. Keep them in the, within the same family and keep them within these items. And that'll really help tie everything together. And then also consider your pattern size and keep things sort of similar. So if you have you know, a gigantic circles, you know, then not going to a tiny little checkered pattern where you're either everything's sort of oversized or undersized. And flowers are great. Flowers kind of go with everything. And again, these are all tips that are used in wardrobe as well. So this is taken from style, fashion, wardrobe, right into your home and vice versa. So like I said, if your home if you're wanting to change, if you're stuck, look at your living room, know that you can add a rug, curtains, pillow, completely update the space. And something interesting that a lot of people don't know, and I actually had with a client this week, is that these items and this fabric really helps with the acoustics of a room. So if you've got high ceilings, hardwood floors, you have an echo or everything sounds super loud, the fabric actually absorbs some of the, the acoustics and the sound. So it's a great way to make everything feel more cozy, comfy, warm, and really soften visually and audibly, which is, is really interesting. Um, so definitely, if you're looking for an update, do those three things or two out of the three things in your living room and you'll be very happy. I don't know how much longer we will all be safe at home. Luckily, thankfully, we are safe at home um, where we can, you know, we have some time to make these changes. And of course, if you guys need help, you know where to find me. You should know where to find me. Trustintrisha.co, Trustintrisha at Gmail. Trust and Trisha on all the social medias. Find me everywhere. Um, but like I said right now, running a special, we can just jump on a call just like this. Walk around your house. Show me the areas. I'll give you some ideas. We'll edit. We'll decorate. I'll then send you a plan with suggestions, shopping links. Um, I'll also ask if you want a two-year-old because I'm giving one away at the highest bidder. I'm just kidding because this is actually going to be on the internet. I'm not selling my child today. But you all know where to find me. Um, so everyone, stay safe, stay home, make it pretty. And if you need help, I'm your girl. Hey, Julian, do you want to come say bye? Oh, you do? Oh, you're going to stop being a grump? That's good. Oh, the dog also wants to say bye. Okay, see, so we're all done talking about living rooms. Okay, <laughs> that about sums it up. Say peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out, Nen. <laughs> he said peace out, Nen. Peace out, PJ. Peace out, PJ. Peace what about us? Who else? You think Grammy's watching? Okay, watching. Peace out, Grammy. Peace out, Grammy. Peace out, Grandpa. Peace out, Grandpa. <laughs> You're just so cute. 
I'm gonna go hang out with this kid a little bit more.